Hello, Watoto family. I greet you all in the name that's above every other name, and that's the name of Jesus. Well, I have some information for you following the president's address this past weekend where some of the national lockdown restrictions have been lifted. And that, of course, includes the restrictions on church gatherings. We are so thankful to God that now some of that is being eased up. Many of you have been asking, hey, pastor, what's the next step? Well, here are three important announcements that I would like to give to you on behalf of the leadership of Watoto. The first one is concerning our celebration services at all our locations here in Uganda. Now, we honestly miss you. We miss seeing your smiles. We miss worshiping Jesus together, singing and lifting up his name corporately. We miss all of that, but we know that soon and very soon, we will be able to do that. Now, the restrictions that have been given are that we can't have more than 70 people in each service. Now, that makes it a little bit difficult for us to do and to have a practical, meaningful experience of worship. So as a leadership, we have decided to continue doing our gatherings online and on air for the meantime. And we urge you to continue praying so that at the right time, these restrictions can be lifted so we can gather again in a meaningful way, but also in a safe way way. Now I know for some of you, you're going to be like, oh, I was looking forward to meeting other people. Well, the pastors are meeting and planning and discussing other alternative ways in which we can gather, but in our community. So watch the space. We will be letting you know when that will be possible. The second announcement is concerning our small group, groups, our cell groups. And we are so glad that now we can actually meet physically for our small groups. But here's what we would like to recommend. Please, if you're meeting physically, do it in an open space because that's where we can actually observe the Ministry of Health guidelines. So we encourage you to do that. But we also advise that all our small group meetings end by 7 p.m. so we can avoid curfew issues. So small groups, that's what we'd like to let you know. And if you cannot do any of those, we still urge you to continue meeting virtually as you have been doing in the past number of months. And finally, we'd like to let you know that our church offices are open for pastoral care, for counseling. Don't you hesitate to approach us because we do care about you and we would love to serve you in the best way possible. Remember, we love you and we know that God Almighty is still on the throne. Jesus said, I will build my church and not even the gates of hell shall be able to stop it. Soon and very soon it's going to change and we will be able to gather together. God bless you and God watch over you and your families in this season.